The 2024 Canadian National Figure Skating Championships wrapped up in Calgary last weekend, and the event proved to have a little bit of everything. Upsets, triumphant returns, new champions, and, of course, dominance. Okay, Asher, let's start with the upset, and we're talking about the women's competition. Akaya Ryder wins, defeating the two-time Canadian champion, Maddie Skeesis. You know, how did that all unfold? Well, of course, Madeline was looking for a three-peat, but she faltered in both programs. The free program, even more so. Some disastrous skates, she was not happy with that. But Kaya Ryder answered the call. She delivered a superb free program. Short program was also tight for her, but she was able to get pretty much all of her jumps out, only a one mistake program, and to do it in front of a home crowd with her family and friends in the, in the audience was a big feat. And it's not easy to skate that cleanly and have the skate of your life um, and have this big special moment when the pressure is mounting. Not only it's nationals, but again, you're at home. You want to do your best and she did it. Yeah, that can work one of two ways, positively or negatively. Uh, she did it positively, obviously. And she was grinning ear to ear, you know, after this competition. It hasn't even sunk in. I mean, that moment out there on the ice was just so special to me and to get to perform my long program in front of my, all my family and friends and my home rink was just so special. So, yeah, to have this opportunity here is just crazy to me. It's great to see Kaya having so much fun and enjoying uh, winning that national title. And she will be competing at the uh, Winter Youth Olympic Games coming up in Korea at the end of this month. Now, to your favorite discipline, I would imagine, uh, Ice Dance and Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier, they are back after missing last year's uh, Canadian Championships and they win another uh, national title. Yes, and of course, Piper and Paul were out because uh, Piper had an ovarian cancer diagnosis and she was recovering from surgery. So for her, she said that this third national uh, championship was just as special as her first because, you know, she's finally back, feeling great in her body and confident. Their rhythm dance wasn't as strong, but the free dance, just absolutely superb and as spellbinding as the first time I saw it. This could be a great vehicle for them, and I, I really think that they have a shot at being on top of the podium at World Championships if they skate strong. I, I agree. Now, a couple of teams, though, that might have pushed them a little bit were not at Nationals. Why? Yeah, so Marjorie Lejoie and Zachary Lega, who are also at the Grand Prix Final with Piper and Paul, uh, are out because Marjorie suffered a concussion. And uh, Lawrence Fournier Boudry and Nikolai Sorensen are out because of the uh, allegations that are mounting against Nikolai of uh, uh, violent sexual assault. And that is something that we will see unfold for right. the rest of the year. Um, but they are still named to the Four Continents Championship. Of course, they pulled out because they didn't want to be a distraction, but it will be interesting to see how this plays out at Four Continents and with Skate Canada. And Piper and Paul, of course, will be at Four Continents as well. And here's uh, how they were feeling after uh, winning another national title. Every national championship is special, and I think since we've kind of had a, an interrupted year in between each one, it's made every single one feel a little bit new and a little bit special. Uh, so I think we're really pleased with our skates this weekend, and we're really looking forward to just building even more momentum heading towards Worlds. We felt like we were champions today. We skated like that, skated with attack, and it made for like a really nice performance for us. And Asher, I can't wait to see what is uh, possible for this team at the World Championships in March. Anyway, that's Ice Dance. Now to the men's competition. And no Keegan Messing. Uh, the reigning Canadian champion, he has retired from competition. So that left the door open for a number of men to walk through. And Wesley Chu was the winner. He did it. He got it done. Yes, two-time bronze medalist at Nationals. Third time is the charm for that win. Uh, and, you know, just like the rest of the competition, it was not superb throughout, but that short program was stellar. He was the only one to whip off a quad-triple combo, and that set him apart uh, by 13 points. He unfortunately had to spend that with a kind of lackluster free program, but he is now Canadian champion. It's definitely a dream come true. Um, a lot of work and a lot of mental uh, struggles for sure this week. Um, but yeah, I had to really stay calm and collected, especially after the short. Um, 
but yeah, overall, really happy with the result. And finally, the Paris competition, uh, the reigning Canadian champions were Deanna Stadletto Dudak and Maxim Deschamps. And they didn't skate perfect, but enough to get a, a second Canadian title. And of course, you know, the athletes want to skate perfect and well at nationals, but they didn't have to. Their goal is to win the world championships and despite the mistakes here at nationals um, they are still have the highest score internationally and so they're competing against themselves to make sure they get back to the score so that they can be on top of the podium at world um, and they've done such great work in their performance and skill and i think that they are very much primed and ready to go they've worked very diligently on the second half of their free program they gotta get that first half together especially those side by side jumps and i think that they're still in the running for you know, four continents championships and worlds. Yeah, and they're and they're trying to peak at the right time. Of course, the right time uh, being in March at those worlds in Montreal. We always try to kind of compete with ourselves. Um, so we're our own biggest competitors, and we knew if we could just do our job and do what our goal was here, was which was to secure the second part of our three, um, that it should be enough to um, secure us our second title. Okay, Asher, we would be remiss if we didn't mention the senior synchro competition won once again by Les Supreme. They were supreme, the reigning world champions delivered yet again. Um, and I'm really excited to see what they do for the rest of the season. And you know, we're not done with figure skating yet. Of course, we have uh, the Four Continents competition from Shanghai, China coming up later this month. And we will be going prime time in March with the World Figure Skating Championships from beautiful Montreal.